The next type of uh, structural effect is much more simple and it is known as the inductive effect. And why is it very simple? Because we've already discussed why uh, the principle behind this and this is actually just electronegativity. For example, I draw acetic acid Now, if an atom is less electronegative than the other, of course, it would have a partial positive charge. That's obvious. This one would have a partial negative charge. We have terms for that. Okay. So, between two bonds having partial charges, the one which pulls electrons towards it is one which we call electron withdrawing or electron attracting for obvious reasons and the other one we call this electron repelling electron repelling inductive effect so here we just see that this is a relative property because for example I have a C H bond. Since C, since carbon is more electronegative than, C, well, there are no, there are really here, there are no ch charges to speak of because this is a nonpolar bond, right? But if if you are asked, is what inductive effect does carbon exhibit here? Well, since this is more electronegative, then you could say that this is electron withdrawing. Still, even if there is no partial charge, and this is electron repelling it's just that simple now we go to those are actually stabilizing effects but I forgot to mention that some structural effects exist but we do not like those structural effects why because they tend to destabilize instead of to stabilize alright and uh, we have uh, these are usually strings or um, angles that are unpleasant because electrons are piling up in a, in a similar area okay or near each other and uh, the first one w I would like to mention is angle strain probably the simplest of them it's simply destab <laughs> sorry I, uh, this is destabilized I wasn't able to check that angle strain this exists in rings alright so for example I draw cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopropane and cyclohexane you would see that as the as the ring becomes smaller the angle becomes smaller also so here the angle is this one then it becomes smaller even smaller even smaller now the principle is as the angle goes down what happens the electrons here in these two bonds become closer to each other and since electrons don't really like each other they tend to repel but the, the thing is they are forming a ring so they cannot really repel each other because they are rigid in a ring structure so here there is a form of instability and cyclopropane is very unstable here the angle is better it's larger so larger angle larger stability and actually if we look at the stabilities relative stabilities cyclohexane has the lowest angle what does that mean it could it actually said back then they say that if if we go beyond cyclohexane for example cycloheptane the stability still goes down it becomes more unstable so meaning that the point of reference would always be cyclohexane but later on they found out that this one is actually stable as well because if we follow this then probably if we have a 10 membered ring it, I cannot draw it anymore it would be very unstable but that's not the case 
Remember, we have conformational isomerism. At one point, they could form another kind of shape or whatever. You know, just I'm just playing around, drawing around. But the point is, the more carbons you have in a ring, the more types of conformations or the more shapes they could fold into, then that's what makes them stable. All right. So you cannot really say that a ten-membered ring, a nine-membered ring, is very unstable. It's still stable, but still. We go, we go to the conclusion that cyclohexane is the most stable ring. Now, the next type of strain is called the... I'll just put a divider here. Steric effect or steric strain or steric hindrance. So I'll just use the word steric effect. And uh, this, is a uh, this is a result of bulky groups near each other. For example, I have a ring here, then I have here an isopropyl group, then I have here a, a tertiary butyl group. And uh, remember, look at this, uh, all these two substituents, that's a lot of carbons, a lot of hydrogens, generally a lot of electrons, and they are beside each other, you know, and uh, they're not supposed to be li like that, this would uh, destabilize it makes it more unstable their instability would then increase All right. so you don't like that so those are the structural effects